in this lesson we are going to study about multi map stl data structure so in the last lesson we had seen a map data structure and we had seen that uh, it keeps a unique pair of key and values so here the name says multi map so you can have multiple keys so duplicate keys are allowed so uh, most of the things will be similar to map so a big difference is that multiple keys are allowed with the same value for example if 10 is mapped to a b c and we go ahead and insert 10 again with a value of b c d then this is allowed in multi map but in the case of map only the first occurrence will be there this will not be inserted at all and again uh, it will be in the map header file just like normal map and it keeps the element in sorted order and uh, again user can provide a custom compare function to uh, change the ordering and uh, here also its uh, underlying uh, data structure is generally a search tree binary search tree and uh, in most of the implementation it's a red black tree although it's not specified in the standard which data structure exactly to use so search remove insertion these are logarithmic times so let's see some of the functions so just like map or any other stl container we can use size to get the number of elements and uh, it it does not return the unique keys since uh, duplicate keys are also inserted so those are also values so it will return the total count of the elements present in the map and this can be used to assign or initialize a multi map clear will remove all the elements and you see a thing here i have striked out this thing because in the map we used this and dot at to access the value at a given key so let's say in as our earlier example 10 had abc so if we write 10 here and the name of the map is m then it would return abc similarly m dot at 10 would return abc but in this case these two are not defined so you cannot use these in the case of multi map so you have to keep it in mind the rest other things are same like count in the case of map it will return 0 or 1 since the key may be present or not there are no notion of duplicate but here if you uh try to call this count function it will return the actual number of values that are mapped to the same key for example if we have 10 abc 10 bcd then count 10 will return 2 because there are two keys with a value of 10 find will return uh, one of the elements one of the keys matching this parameter that you pass here and we will see example of this so if 10 is present it will return one of these 10 not exactly which 10 it's not uh, guaranteed which 10 will be accessed then empty checks whether the map multi map is empty or not and then there are uh, different versions of insert erase which we will see in our example and then we have upper bound lower bound so lower bound means greater than or equal to so let's say we have keys 10 10 and obviously some values associated with them and these will be sorted so 10s will come before 15 then we have some uh, values having key 20 and if we call uh, lower bound 15 so it means greater than or equal to 15 so it will return iterator to this point and upper bound means greater than so it will return 20 because it cannot return 15 it should be more than 20 so it will return iterator to this one upper bound and lower bound let's say uh, we are calling uh, lower bound on some value here 17 so greater than than or equal to is the smallest one is 20 so lower bound will return 20 upper bound will also return 20 so these can be equal or these may not be equal depending on the data that we have and we will see example of all of these then we have another function called equal range key so it returns a range this was not there in the map so here we can have uh, multiple entries of the same key so let's say we have three entries of 10 and we call equal range 10 so we have some values here then 10 starts here 10 10 all 10 will be together since these are sorted we have three tens then it will return this pair it 1 will be pointing to this one 
and it2 will be pointing here after this 10 greater than this so using this you can access all the tens so let's see an example of this so we will start with our uh, basic example just like map so we have a multi map in this case and we have three unique keys so size should return three and if we print it it will print all the values 10 cat 20 dog 5 bat in sorted order so this is a map we have not inserted duplicates so let's uh, do some insertions here so we will see different versions of insert so first we can insert uh, using this uh, pair one key one value so let's say 100 and we have rabbit so its size is increased by one so 10 is already present but you will see that still 10 is inserted duplicates are allowed then uh, let's uh, insert using initializer list so we can also insert using initializer list so initializer list is wrapped in this curly braces and we will we can pass multiple of such pairs within one initializer list so we have 10 cat And we can also use that make pair thing to make a pair. And the pair is of type int, the type of the key, and the type of value is string. And then the value, which is uh, let's say 12, the same key that we used earlier. And it was bat, so this time it's bat 2. So these are different ways of inserting we can also uh, uh, insert using iterators we have another container and we want to insert into this one so first let's uh, print this these values so let's see what is the content of multimap at this point so this was earlier now we have you can see all the tens are grouped together we have multiple of them and then all 12s 20 100 uh, now let's insert some more values this time let's create another map and we have uh, int and a string same map same type of map or you can try with multi multi map but i'm using map here so this is just for the demo of insert and this has nothing to do with multi mapping so let's insert some values here 10 a twenty BB fifteen CC and one more key let's say five DD so this is a map and it has four values four key and value pairs so what we will do we will insert it into our multi map which is M M dot insert uh, M2 is the map you can also pass custom iterators in this case I am inserting all the key value pairs into our multi map and the same thing again let's print the contents So we have seen different ways of insertion, insertion here. 
so all of these values are inserted here so this is another way of inserting now let's uh, erase some elements m dot find 10 so it will return one of the tens this m dot find will return iterator to one of the uh, key value pairs having key as 10 and it will erase that one so it will erase one then uh, let's bring that the element erased the key erased and this would reduce the size if you check so let's print the size here before erasing So in this case we are passing an iterator to erase uh, erase was not declared we are passing an iterator to the erase function so it will return value at that position so size was 12 now size is 11 and this is the key that was deleted so we already knew that so size is decreased by 1 so this is different from erase if we pass just 10 so let's take take an example where we call m dot erase 10 so here we are directly passing the key so it will erase all the tens so you will see the difference so size was 12 now size is 8 because there were four occurrences of key 10 1 2 3 4 so it deleted all of them but in this case it first finds 10 so it will return one of these 10 a particular iterator and we are passing that iterator so it will just re-raise that key value pair that where the iterator is pointing so uh, you should use it carefully you may accidentally erase all of the values where uh, when you may want to erase a particular value so use it with care now uh, let's see upper and lower bounds so lower bound as i said uh, it's uh, greater than or equal to so let's print it again then we have bound fifteen and then lower bound fifteen. So lower bound means greater than equal to so it should return exactly iterator pointing to fifteen and this should return twenty. So let's print it. And as you can see UB is 20 that is greater than 15 and lower bound is 15 because 15 is present here so greater than equal to if we call here 17 both will be equal both will be 20 and finally we will see the equal range function so it returns the range of values so let's make it 15 again So we have a range 
which is a pair of iterators m dot equal range and we know that there are lots of 10 here so better use this key 10 and then we can iterate through it so auto it equal to range dot first it not equal to range dot second second is one iterator past 10 greater than 10 so when this it is equal to second then we have scanned all the 10 plus plus it And you can see that we get four values printed cat, fish, cat, and aa. And if you see here, we have cat, fish, cat, and aa. These are corresponding to 10. So I hope uh, I was able to make uh, this clear uh, multi map thing. You try to practice more and more. The more you use, uh, these functions will automatically be memorized.